Picture this. A private environmental organization surveying a small river discovers rampant algae blooms and deteriorating populations of certain species. They hire you to test the water quality of the river and figure out what might be causing the sudden decline in biodiversity and health of the river. You decide to focus mainly on testing the water's nutrient levels because algae tends to flourish with excess nutrients. You choose a location along the river where you notice substantial algae growth and test the nitrogen and phosphorus levels. The tests show that the water has nitrate levels above 40 parts per million and phosphate levels above 0.035 parts per million, well above the levels which are acceptable for safe drinking water. Upon this discovery, you decide to travel upstream to see if you can find a potential source of pollution in the river. About a quarter mile upstream from where you tested the water, you see a CAFO, an operation that confines large amounts of animals to small lots where they live until the end of their lives. These animals produce extremely large amounts of manure. Recent rainstorms must have caused much of this manure to run off into the river, causing excessive algae growth and the death of many aquatic animals. This is an example of point source pollution, something that can easily be identified as the direct source of pollution. In other words, you know that because there were rainstorms, and there is a CAFO upstream, the farm must be the cause of eutrophication. Eutrophication occurs when an environment is enriched with nutrients. This can be problematic when algal blooms are caused because when algae die they are decomposed by bacteria that remove oxygen from water. Other point sources of pollution include wastewater treatment plants and oil refineries. When thinking of point sources of pollution, it is good to think about things that directly affect the surrounding environment. In this case, some wastewater treatment plants have discharge pipes that release waste straight into bodies of water. It is important to know that agriculture can be both a point source and non-point source of pollution. In the story at the beginning of the video, we knew exactly where the pollution was coming from. However, sometimes there is no direct source of pollution that can easily be identified. This is non-point source pollution which will be covered in part 2 of this short series. Thank you for watching and taking this time to become more educated on our environment. Please stay tuned for part 2 of this video.